Hello, all my dear students. I welcome you all to Chikri Academy. In today's session, basically, I'm taking word problems from the chapter Linear Equation in Two Variables. So, if you have not seen the previous two sessions in which I have discussed word problems for speed and time, and basically how to find the age-related, how to solve age-related word problems. Okay, so you can go to the Grade One playlist and you can check these two videos. So, in today's session, what are we going to discuss? That how to solve the word problems related to two-digit numbers. Sometimes they give you the condition between the two-digit number and what will happen after reversing the digits, and then they ask you to find one. Sometimes they will give you the sum of the two digits or difference of the two digits. Basically, there will be few conditions related to the digits of a two-digit number, and they ask you to find the numbers. So let's start the session. So if you see the first question, the first question says that sum of two-digit number and the number obtained by reversing the order of its digit is 99. If the digits differ by three, find the number. See the mistake. What happens here is that suppose if I say let the one's digit is x and n's digit is y, the Generic mistake what happens here is most of the students write the number as x in the way. That is wrong. It is wrong. If one's digit is x, 10 digit is y, the numbers will not be either x into y or y into x. That is wrong. Why it is wrong? Let me explain this. Suppose if you take a number 23, okay? So what is the digit at one's place? Three. What is the digit at tens place? So you don't write two into three. How do you get 23? You get 23 as 10 into 2 plus 10 to the power 0 into 3, which is basically 1. So 10 to the power 1 into 2 plus 10 to the power 0 into 3. So the number what we get is 23. So you can't write if the one digit is x, 10 digit is y, the number is not y into x or x into y. You have to make sure that you multiply the digit with that particular place. If the number is 123, 1 is at 100's place, so 1 has to be multiplied with 100, 2 has to be multiplied with 10, and 3 has to be multiplied with 1. Take care of these small things so that you don't do any fundamental mistake in the exam. Okay, so let's start solving this question. Okay, so what will be the number? The number will be 10 into y plus x. So, the sum of the two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the order. If I reverse the order, reverse the order means x will be 10th digit, y will be 1th digit. Correct? x will be 10th digit, y will be 1th digit. So, number obtained after interchanging the digits. So, what will be the number, students? Now it will be 10x plus. Correct? So let's add both of them. What is the sum given? 99. So 10y plus x plus 10x plus y. The sum is given as 99. When you add it, this becomes 11y plus 11x equals to 99. You can take 11 common. So students, what is the condition we are getting? We are getting x plus y is equal to this is the first condition. Very simple question. You just need to follow the data what is given. You need to know how to write the number. That is important. X plus Y is 9. If the digits differ by 3. Now, see, this is very important statement. Digits differ by 3. Now, here it is not given that which digit is bigger. There are two possibilities will be there. Either X minus Y will be 3 or Y minus X will be 3. You need to be careful here. Read each and every statement carefully. So we have x minus y equal to 3 or y minus x equal to 3 because I don't know which one is greater. So both possibilities are there. So first I will solve these two. So x minus y equal to 3, x plus y equal to 9. Add both of them. The moment you add both of them, what will you get? x plus x, 2x, minus y plus y, 0. 9 plus 3 will be 12. So x will be equal to how much students? 6. 
if x is 6, what will be y? Obviously 3. Obviously 3. 6 plus y equal to 9. So y will be equal to how much? Now when you solve this one and this one, add both the equations. x and minus x gets cancelled. y plus y, 2y. So 2y will be equal to 12. So y will be equal to 6. Correct. If y is 6, what will be x equal to? Obviously. So these are the two possibilities. So how many answers we will have? Two answers. If you take this case, the number will be, if you take this case, this one, this one, what will be the number? 10. So what is our number? 10y plus x, right? Original number. So 10y. So 30 plus 6, 36. Or if you take this case, 10y plus x. So 10 into 6, 60 plus 3, 63. So these are the two answers, 36 and 63. Okay. So there are multiple points where as a student, we can go wrong. So you have to be careful at two places. First, how to write the number. Second thing, digits differ by three. So you have to form two cases because it is not given in the question that which digit is three. Okay. So let's take the next question. Students, let's discuss the question number two. A two-digit number is four times the sum of its digit. Two-digit number. So I'm assuming x to be at one's place, one's digit, and y as one's digit. And full terms, you can say that x is tens digit, y is one's digit. So what will be the number, students? The number would be ten y plus x. What they're writing, a two-digit number is four times the sum of its digit. So this two-digit number is four times the sum of the digits. This is the first condition given. Let's simplify it. So 10y plus x is equal to 4x plus 4y. So what can we solve? 10y minus 4y, 6y x minus 4x is equals to 0. Correct? Students, what can we take common? We can take 3 common. So the moment you take 3 common, this becomes 2y minus x equal to 0. So the equation is 2y minus x equals to 0. This is our first condition. Now what else is given? If 18 is added to the number, if 18 is added to the number, Digits are reversed. So 18 is added to the number. Number is 10y plus x. What is happening? The new number what we are getting in that digits are reversed. Reversed means x will be 10 digit, y will be 1 digit. So this will be equal to what? 10x plus y. Because digits are reversed. x became 10 digit, y became 1 digit. Let's solve it. So 10y minus y, that will become how much? 9y. x minus 10x minus 9x equals to 0. So we can take 9 common. So 2 plus y minus x equals to 0. So 2 plus y minus x equals to 0. Students, if you see here, what is 2y minus x equal to 0? So from here, what can I say? x is equal to how much? 2y. Correct? Substitute it here. x is equal to 2y. So 2 plus y minus 2y is equal to 0. So 2 minus y equal to 0. So y is equal to 2. y is equal to 2. If y is equal to 2, you can substitute in any equation, you will get x. x is equal to how much? 2y. So x will be equal to how much student? 2y. So x will be equal to 4 x is 4, y is what will be our original number? So number is 10y plus x. x is 2, y is 4. So 10 into 2 plus x is 4. So what is the answer, students? 24. So the number is 20. We have to go step by step. Just to write down the condition. Don't think too much. The moment to start thinking about answer, whether will I get correct or wrong, 
you will start getting worried. You just need to have a simple mindset that whatever data is given in the question, I will use it and write down the equation. And this will come only by practice, not by just reading the question and thinking ki I can solve in the exam. Write it on the paper. Okay, so let's take one more question similar to this as homework. That is your task to do. So students, this is the last question, which is basically the homework question. It is similar to the question what we have done just now. So I want all of you to film this question and do write down the answer in the comment box and make sure that you don't forget to share this video with your friends. They may also need it. It should help them also. So sharing is caring. Do share with all your friends and do like and subscribe our channel. So see you in the next video. Take care. Study well.